<laughs> hey guys, so welcome back. Blah, 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 blah. Welcome back, guys, to another video on Kevin's Space Program. Oh. Anyway, uh, today I'm going to be doing a few tips and tricks and a lot of other random stuff. So, I have created an aircraft called Penis Mark II, even though it doesn't look like a penis, well, sort of. Not really. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is a random aircraft that I made, and I'll explain a few tips and tricks while I'm at it. So, uh, you may be wondering how I got the, the wing up there. Well, uh, I'll show you. Look at this. Look at that. When you place the wing, it goes all the way up there. How do they get it straight? Hmm. So what you do is, you um, turn off snap to angles, you can do symmetry, right? And then you click the uh, E key, no, no, W, no, what's D? D, yeah, click the D key, D, and you place it down, right? Just like I did there. Um, if you want your aircraft to actually lift up straight away, I'll, take this, I'll leave that there for now. Yeah, if you want your aircraft to lift up straight away, then what you can do is have some more hard point, so, and put your smoggy bay there and have your smoggy bays at the back just in normal position so when you start up your aircraft um, the airflow will push underneath on an angle like that, that's how the aircraft will look sort of and then you will lift up automatically giving that you are going fast enough <laughs> alright so how you adjust the your ship is by clicking your capsule and holding it down shift and S and any other key that you want. Look at this. Aha, you can make it smash as soon as you start up. So that's good to know. Uh, you can take this away. And what else? Hmm. What else is there? Ah, with this mobility enhancer, some of you may not know, uh, it actually emits a bit of light, which is awesome. And something was on. Okay. Yeah, so it emits a bit of light, which is cool. And I'm gonna click. No. Let's figure out what I'm gonna click. Uh, how to make this? Ah, that's it. Yeah, I'm holding down Shift and Q. And then A. To position this correctly. So that way our cable can get out and back in. Uh, with the way I position this fin, is you click the fin, and then you put it there. Right? Spacebar, and you click the uh, WASD keys, one of them. That one of them will do it. And that's a bit difficult sometimes. Uh, let's turn off snap to angles, see if that helps. Ah, automatic. See that? Bam! Okay, now with the wing connectors, I'll show you how to place them down. We get the wing connectors. Oh, la, 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 la. There it is. Then you place it there, right? Have it snap to angles on. Right, and you click the W key. Voila! And then you can keep on doing that. Right there. W key. Uh, 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 right up. There you go. There you go. W key. You make it go all the way around. Like so. And then you can place whatever you want on it. As I did back here. So, put that back. Okay, what else? Now, there. Put that back. Alright. So I'll show you how to put that down there as well. Um, you get to pay, basically get your wing. Uh, symmetry on. You can turn off snap to angles. Bang! It's automatic. It places down automatically, and that's nice and easy. What else is there in this awesome game? Ah, okay. Here's another weird trick. If this works, uh, you get your what is it called? Okay, small hard point. Turn off symmetry. Right. Place it down there. Right. Then you get your whatever you want to be on an angle you place it down onto the small hard point and click shift and W key look at this guys a fish, what the hell is that? we made something here and I don't know if this is aerodynamic I'm totally gonna test this out like that okay we're gonna test that out um, but before that what else can I show you? ah uh, you should always use struts always so symmetry snap to angles strut to the main point, right? And if you have a very long aircraft, then have a strut from your the front of the aircraft going down to the the back. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but um, if you have an object in front here, right? 
and this is the exit or the and the entrance way into the capsule your Kerbals will not be able to exit or enter right so uh, be cautious about putting things right there if you don't want them to enter or exit or anything like that so that's another thing uh, what else is there um, hmm uh, when you're using um, like jets and stuff like that, you should use structural pylon to actually hold things on. I don't advise you to use the other stuff, the uh, rockets like this radial decoupler. Don't don't use them for this. I wouldn't advise you to use them. They're not as strong. Yeah, but we're gonna. Oh, this is on an angle, isn't it? Yeah, you can you can fix that up manually, but I won't to set out the way it is and I think that's about it yeah oh aha nothing else now if you want your aircraft to be in the air immediately without wasting any fuel on trying to get up into the air you get your stability enhancer right and make sure you have symmetry on and place them down there and make it that when you start up your aircraft you have to have if you see on the right the stability enhancer that's that's these ones here and you can tell by hovering over. Oh, it's this one there. Yeah, you can tell by hovering over which ones are which. So, hovering over. Okay, it's the last two. These are both the stability enhancers. Okay. So um, when you start the aircraft, um, those would disconnect automatically, and your engine would have started. That's good, and you might need to put like two back here or something. Maybe just one. One right there. Yeah. Awesome. And let's pretty much it again. Yep, don't see anything else. Um I think this here, zero point five Kerbals means um if you're gonna be in like space or on a planet that doesn't have much gravity, then you should use that. This tell us but if you're gonna use this, um this is for like this planet or another planet. It has a lot of gravity, but it doesn't really matter which one's which. Uh, these struts are useless on this aircraft, but yeah, use them. Are you on caution? We're gonna have this parachute as a butthole. Oh, no, <clears throat> I didn't say that. Hope no one heard. Yep, let's move everything forward a bit. So I'm gonna have these rocket, the air spike rockets start up first, and the where are these ones? Yes these things just <laughs> to eject these are what they got <laughs> so we an answer yes they will both start up and eject at the same time awesome then we can do the parachute if we want okay okay <laughs> so you click T right um, SAS if you do have SAS then you do click T if you don't have SAS or avionics package or advanced SAS or anything got to do with stability then don't click T because it's going to be useless. Um, ah, so full throttle if you're going to be using these things. If you're going to be like that and spacebar. Look at that. Yeah, this is actually quite stable. What a good design. I think this back part's going to be stuff to stuff for sure. All right. Let's try and uh, configure this a bit. It's going down. Alright, so if you have an aircraft that you don't, when you move it once, uh, it goes crazy and moves a bit too much, what you can do is you click control, right on your keyboard, and as you can see here on the bottom left hand corner, these arrows, these blue arrows, right, if you turn control caps lock off, they'll be back to normal, the brownish ready arrows, or orange. So once um, the blue is on, that means that you your aircraft will be um, not as controllable as before. So what I mean is when you move your aircraft, uh, it won't go as crazy as it did before. Now if you want to um, change that, right, you can go to your main menu and I think it's in control section, you can uh, configure this a bit more so that you can either control it more or control it more or less, it depends on what the settings are. I've never used it before. So yeah, I'll turn that off because I don't want to use that. And this thing has wasted out of fuel and we're currently gliding. So it seems like a pretty good design. And 
What's that? Whatever. That's whole time. <laughs> there we go. Alright. So, uh, with this parachute, this is the bigger type of parachute. Oh, I'll show you when it ejects. Um, it's... I think it's more stronger than the other parachute, so it can handle... Say, say we're going like 150 meters per second. It can actually handle it compared to the other parachute. Okay, here we go. What the... Alright, yeah, it can handle it. Look how strong it is. That thing is a beast. And we died. Alright, so let's get back to that. Okay. Now, if you have been to another planet on Kerbal Space Program, or if you haven't, then I take I advise you now um, about what to do. So I've went to pretty much all the planets. Not the moons. I've went to Moho as well, but I haven't put that up on the internet yet. Um, but I've went to all the planets, and one major problem is the hills. Each planet has a lot of hills, and it's even if you click the brakes on your aircraft, B for brake, um, it, it will start up, you'll start rolling again. So uh, I've sort of invented a way to stop that. It's by using struts. Yeah. So I just put these random struts here. I'm pretty sure you can use the other struts um, if you like, but these are just better, more stability. And yeah, <laughs> so I've just placed them there by clicking the um, what was that? The A key and put some there. And I've got two on both sides, so I can even put some on the side here. Let's go like that. I don't hope this no stuff that. Let's put one back here somewhere. Two back here. Yeah, that'll work. Alright, so let's do that. Clear runway and proceed. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start the aircraft. I'm going to make it start moving. right? And then I'll turn off the engines and then we're going to make these uh, struts eject. So let's go. Okay, so we usually end up like 20 meters per second. Turn that off and lower. Now watch this. <laughs> it's so funny. How's that for brakes? Look at that. It just stopped at that track. And you put the ones at the back too. Okay, so your aircraft now has permanently stopped. It won't move. I mean, if... Okay, let's start this up. Alright, that's... We're going... There's a lot of pressure. It's starting to move. Slightly. I'll put this there. Look at that. <laughs> what is this? A dog? It's a chicken! <laughs> what, the, what the hell? It's doing a wheelie. <laughs> yeah, so a good strategy to stop yourselves from from uh, rolling down a hill continuously. So, yeah, it's a very interesting way.